What's going on you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome back to another monthly pickups so this time for the month of October. Seven. Good. Good number. Okay, there were seven pickups that I got for the month of October, which was my birthday month. I turned 29, so that just meant, you know, I had a reason to spend money because, you know, it was my birthday. No, in all reality, I whenever I go to either like a pawn shop or a GameStop that is near me whenever I'm out and about doing something with my parents or just on my own, I'm literally just seeing, okay, wait, can I get a steal? Can I afford to do this? Because anything, any game, any tech product that I get goes up a as a review on the channel. That way it's just pure content. Like anything that I get is always an idea for just stuff that I can do with content. I know it's silly, but it's what being a content creator is. <laughs> I bet chefs have the same thing. Like if you think about it, a chef on YouTube literally would go to the grocery store and get a bajillion ideas for different content that they could do. Oh my God, no, I'm hungry. First game on the list of pickups that I got was Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread is one of those games that is, it's, it's old. Okay. I'm not even going to beat around the bush. It's an old series. This is the first, I think, uh, sequel to one of their games that they did in like 20 years. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm new to the franchise. I'm new to loving Metroid Dread. Doesn't she look great? She looks awesome, doesn't she? So yeah, I saw this on the timeline and I was like, I need to get this. I need, I need to get this. I saw this at E3 and I just fell in love with this. So next up is a game that I've been wanting to get my hands on for quite a long time. This actually came in from Limited Run a few weeks ago and it is Castlevania. I remember playing some of the games when I was younger but I never finished any of them. I was kind of like that gamer back when I was younger that it would like start something and then I would stop it right away because I would just, you know, get bored and get interested in other things. But now that I have a career in gaming, <laughs> I get to do this full time. Amazing. And what it also comes with, um, if you guys get this copy from Limited Run, there is a card and there is a little booklet that tells you about each of the games that's in it. And it makes my heart happy. And what, I think there were like, what, nine games in here? What do you think? Yeah, there's uh, nine games in here. So for the price, it's absolutely wonderful. Oh my gosh. Because normally what? If you just get like one retro game, that's already expensive because retro is coming back in style. And I absolutely love that retro games are coming back. But if you get a retro game nowadays, it's like... 40 to 70 dollars depending on which one you're getting i know that i just want to be able not to be able to play it but just to like have it as a momentum sweet home which i have favorited on my amazon wish list and it's like 50 dollars and it's just for like the nes game and i'm just like i need that in my life now so next up on the list is Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, Final Fantasy. And this is also the reversible cover, by the way. There's another one on this pile that has a reversible cover as well, but this I just thought was so pretty. How could you not like the reversible covers? I love that um, Xbox, PS4, Switch games, they all have these kind of reversible covers on some of their editions that just look absolutely stunning. That just looks beautiful. Final Fantasy, the Zodiac Age, I have no idea how this is gonna go. Um, someone tell me in the comments, please not to be scared. <laughs> So you know how I said I was gonna play all of the From Software games and like I was gonna do all the Dark Souls games and Bloodborne, which is finished and the review's going up tomorrow afternoon. Um, yeah, I think I'm betting off a little more than I could show here. <laughs> um, well, okay, let you, okay, I'll just show you. Enough said, enough said, Sekiro. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, I've heard, is a game that made people cry, <laughs> that made people rage, uh, that's made people no longer like McDonald's. And how is that possible? How could you not like McDonald's? How could you stop loving on McDonald's? Seriously, like that is a ride or die food. No, it's tremendously bad for you, but it's, you know, it's a ride or die food. I'm scared, but I'm also very excited because I absolutely love games that challenge me, <laughs> as you guys know. <laughs> Now for me playing, you know, the first Dark Souls games and finishing Bloodborne, um, I, I love a game that challenges me because it makes me feel like after I've finished the boss battle that I have a reason to get pizza. Like, I have a reason to, that sounds so weird, but like, I have a reason to celebrate, you know? Like, I have a reason to be like, yes, you know what? You deserve that facial. <laughs> You know, it gives you kind of a reason to be hype a little bit, but it's really, really cool. And I love these kinds of games. So yeah, down the road. Be uh, just aware that I'm probably gonna lose my mind. <laughs> so next up is one that I actually got at a pawn shop. It was like 
what, $10? It was a steal. It was really, really great find, actually, because I've never played any of the Metal Gear Solid games. That's right. Don't judge me. I can feel your judgment already, okay? It's either really excited or just neutral. So, yeah, I'm excited to play this. This next one I didn't expect to get because... I'm, I'm not a Far Cry fan. Like, I've, I've never played any of the other games, so me getting Far Cry 6, that, you know, that was a Far Cry. <laughs> no idea if that joke made sense, but we're going with it. The trailer for this game has to be one of the best trailers for a video game I've ever seen. Bar none, hats off, just everything. This trailer for this game, it's just so good. It's so dynamic. It was like watching just a, little, a mini movie. It was just so incredibly good. So that's what sold me on Far Cry 6. I've never played any of the Far Cry games before. So who knows? Maybe I'll become like a massive fan of Far Cry. Who knows? But I'm really excited to get into this game because just the trailer alone looked so dynamic and so beautifully done. We'll see. I don't know if it's going to be the same case as, you know, it was with uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And lastly, all my pickups for month of October. It's a game I'm very, very excited to show with you guys. Pow! That was so weird. <laughs> this gem right here, right here. I'm so excited about this. People are telling me actually to play the first one, which I plan on getting at some point, but this is going to be a game that's going to be on the channel as well as the first Spider-Man game because now we can play it since I have a PS4. I'm so excited to just play all the games that I have missed out on from not having a PS4. Like, this is... Also, can we just please respect the picture of Miles Morales on the back? Seriously? Again, another reversible cover that looks absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I love it. Some of you know this, some of you might not. I am a just absolutely huge Spider-Man fan. I am getting more into the Marvel Universe. I am a Morbius fan. I am a... <laughs> I am a Blade fan. But yeah, if you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell down below because I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, the schedule for this week is going to be kind of different. I'm doing videos literally every single day of this week, hence the upload tonight, because uh, it's all in preparation for the last of us part one because that, those are the only videos since i now know that you can only upload um once a day on youtube i'm going to take the opportunity to just give you guys all the content but yeah then after that week it's all going to be focused on the last of us every video that's gonna come out and everything so yeah if i decide to put like a random video out on either like a tuesday a Thursday or like a, a Sunday or something like that, then I might do that. But for all intents and purposes, it's just gonna be like focused on that game now. So I'm really excited about that and I hope you guys are too. But yeah, stay casually dirty. And before I forget, if you guys wanna support the content that I do on Patreon, the link will be down in the description below. I have tiers ranging in like from a dollar to 40 and all the money goes to literally bills and content creation. <laughs> That's it. So yeah, if you guys wanna support down there. I also have a fan house. I have to put the link down there the description when I get a chance. But yeah, I also have a fan house as well if you guys want to support me there too. There are lots of different ways to support watching the content, sharing a like on this video, getting, you know, just uh, tweets that I do shared, all that kind of stuff. It always helps in the process and promoting and helping in my content just grow. So thank you guys. But yes, yeah, stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, you guys.